What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to share with you my recent experience in Brazil's airports, both Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. And I'll tell you why this is just a continuation of taking your freedom and your money under the appearance of protecting the community from a virus. First, I'll read some excerpts from Brazil's mandate notice, and then I'll let you know about my personal experience. So as of November 25th, 2022, Brazil's health authority and visa has reinstated the mask mandate for airports and aircrafts. However, they did not ban in-flight meal service again, so you can actually eat this time around. Essentially, this means that it's okay to spread COVID when you're eating, but not when you're watching a movie or sleeping. After a two-year mandate of the same policy, along with restricting food consumption, Brazil reinstates the policy after it was only lifted for just three and a half months. The decision was made by representatives of the Brazilian Society of Infectology, National Council of Health Secretaries, National Council of Municipal Health Secretariats, Oswaldo Cruz Foundation, and the Brazilian Collective Health Association. This was framed as a quote-unquote community duty that it quote-unquote represents an act of citizenship. The mandate applies to airport terminals, ground transportation, and other establishments in the airport area. Customers cannot use acrylic or plastic masks. Masks equipped with exhalation valves, including the N95 and the PFF2, a face shield alone, or any type of scarf or cloth bandana. Travelers can remove their masks only to drink or eat, both in the airport terminal and on board the aircraft. The mandate can be waived for those with disabilities that prevent them from properly using face protection masks and for children under three years old. So basically, you're allowed to spread the virus if you're a child, if you're disabled, if you're eating or drinking. Otherwise, protection with acrylic, plastic, or cloth is forbidden. So it's okay to chew and drink and spit out your drink on other people from laughing in the airport rather than to use a plastic, acrylic, cloth, or N95 mask as protection. Does this make sense to everybody? Great. Now, as far as my experience, I entered the airport on November 27, just two days after the mandate was reinstated. So what I saw was that upon entering the airport from ground transportation, not a single person outside or downstairs in the airport was wearing a mask, at least not until you walked upstairs and all the way down the hallway to the security checkpoint. Once you get to the turnstile to enter security, there are staff which have only one job, to stop you and ask you to put on a mask. I told the woman that I did not have one, and she asked me to leave the line and buy a mask from another woman that was selling them next to a cafe for about five real. So this other woman was standing off to the side of the cafe in front of the tables and chairs for the cafe that were unoccupied, as if she had a side hustle from selling food and drink. I told her that I only had a credit card, not cash, and she told me that she does not accept credit cards. Now, mind you, when you're in Brazil, vendors on the street that are selling T-shirts, whistles, paintings, hats, anything you can think of, they're carrying around these mobile card devices that can accept credit card payments. So I find it very strange that an official airport vendor to provide mandatory masks is unprepared to offer a legitimate method of accepting payments and instead goes 100% under the table when selling masks. So since I didn't have cash, the woman told me to walk to the opposite end of the airport hallway, still without a mask, to find the pharmacy and ask to buy a mask there. Good thing the pharmacy accepted credit cards. Now, once you buy the mask and walk through the security checkpoint, you now have hundreds of people who were previously not wearing masks on the street together and waited in the baggage line together, putting masks on to walk through security now. After you get through security and walk to your gate, you can see that many people are still not wearing masks, including airport staff. People are eating and drinking and talking on phones and some doing nothing without masks. And now you have the same hundreds of people from downstairs that are sitting together upstairs. Let me show you some photos to illustrate my point. Here's a photo of when you reach the turnstile at the airport. As you can see, some people knew the masks were going to be required, but I can count at least 15 people in this photo not wearing masks. This is a photo of right after entering the turnstile. You can see about three people scrambling to find their masks to put on. And what's interesting about this photo is you can see the airport worker on the left here with the arrow pointing to him telling people that they can't enter without masks while he is not wearing his own mask over his face. Now, isn't that an interesting way to enforce a mandate in your country? Here you have a photo of everybody in the security line wearing a mask because if they did not, they will not be allowed to enter the gate and board their flight. 
Now, here are some photos at the gate. In this one, you'll see three people not wearing their masks. Two are eating chips and one is eating her nails. So I guess that counts as food also. Here you see a gate about to board a flight and two people are not wearing masks and not even holding them in their hands. I love this photo because you can see more staff not wearing masks. This person is serving food about 20 feet in front of one of the gates. So maybe using your phone could also be a reason not to require masks. I don't know. Here's a man waiting at the gate without a care in the world for his mask. And you can see another person walking to the bathroom maskless, ready to infect everybody at the urinals. And finally, a family of three, masks on their chins, probably having some sort of cookout. I mean, they must obviously be eating or drinking if they're not wearing masks, right? So after you see all of the hypocrisy of enforcing masks, I finally board the plane and see no difference from what you just saw in the gates. Some have masks, some don't. And when food is served, all the masks come off. So what's the point of taking masks on and off and on and off around the same large groups of people? Look, if you understand basic science and basic logic, you can see why this is an ineffective method of preventing the spread of disease and simply a way to control us and take more of our money. So let me know what you think in the comments. I am preparing more videos and topics about Brazil to share what it's like and offer tips about a wide range of things you can do out there. So look forward to that. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.